What is up, YouTube? So, right now we're about a week in the prep. I mean, technically two weeks in the prep, but I always count 12 weeks out as the beginning of prep for some reason. Don't ask me why, just what I've always done. But I've been dieting for like two weeks now, and I kind of wanted to just give a where my head's at when I started this prep, because it wasn't a picture perfect off season to say the least. And now at like 11 weeks out, I guess. One sec. Hey Siri. How many days until September 13th? It's 78 days until then. 78 days until the Olympia. So it's like just under 11 weeks. So that's grind time. It's time to lock it down. And like I said, I did not have a perfect off season. I kind of started off sick. So I took like four months off pretty much like a few months off training really and then four months total like really trying or pushing myself in the gym and then when I finally did get back into it this off season I was like mentally was not there I was like it wasn't there I didn't have like the, the push the drive the train that I needed to like get going and even though I felt like my diet was on point and I was getting in the gym every day and doing my thing my body just was not responding the same and I wasn't really putting on weight I didn't look like I normally do my off season I wasn't training like I normally do my off season and then it kind of just like that was like happened for a little bit and then just kind of like probably two three three months ago or so it just i was like okay fuck it lock it down just stop being a bitch hammer it in the gym and i had a few good weeks in the gym or a month or two we were really good in the gym and i started to look really good and be happy with where i was at in the off season getting to a point where i was like 255 kind of lean happy with where i was strength was really high i was squatting everything was moving and boom got a hernia so that fucked my head up again mentally. I couldn't push myself in the gym. I wasn't able to squat, do any heavy compound movements, anything really. And that's how I like always train doing things. And I just, I was always scared in my training. So I knew I could not go through Olympia prep like that. Got the surgery, drive down the States for it. Had to pay a lot of money for that, but it was definitely worth it. So then finally kind of recovered from that, getting back into the gym. And I hadn't really like gotten put back everything I lost from it to the point where I'm at right now. So it's kind of mildly, slightly behind, but it is what it is. If I hadn't gotten that surgery done, I wouldn't have been able to prep through this. I mentally wouldn't have been able to push myself. So it happened, it's behind me. And to be completely honest, it's kind of pushing me right now to stop, to not be a bitch on all this prep and realize that I have no time to waste. I don't have any more time for any hiccups, any more bullshit. I kind of got to lock it down, stick everything to a T, make every single workout I have count. So it's kind of where my head's at right now. I'm feeling, I feel good behind slightly, not my like body fat percentage or anything, but like I didn't take full advantage of my off season. So that's how I'm thinking, but I'm not letting that like fucking hold me down. I do not believe that I'm out of striking distance for winning this year's Olympia. I think I have all the cards on my plate to be able to do it. And so any more bullshit, as long as I put in the goddamn work that's right there in front of me to put in, as long as I can do that, I think I have a good chance of taking the title this year. And as many of you guys know, that's been my main focus for a few years and it's really all I want to focus on is becoming the classic physique Mr. Olympia. One of the first ever Canadians to take a title at the Olympia, it would just be so fucking awesome. And that's what I'm gunning for every single day of this prep. I've got 11 weeks, lock it down, no being a bitch, and time to get it. <clears throat> but yeah, so that's kind of where my head's at and how I'm feeling going into this prep. Motivated, jacked up, workouts have been great. Been seeing changes every day, feeling good and strength going up so far a little bit because I'm still eating a lot of food. I'm not like huge restrictions so my strength is still increasing right now in the first couple weeks of prep and I'm happy with that. It's just got to take it one day at a time and be consistent as fuck. It's one of those things where it's literally, I just have to do the same thing every day. Get in the gym around the same time, eat the same meals every day, do the same thing, repeat, get good sleep, relax, be stress-free and just chill. It's just a fucking robot for the next three months. So it is what it is, but yeah, today's back day. I'm gonna film. I've been going to this other gym too a couple of times because it's pretty empty normally when we go. If we go during the day, it's pretty empty there. It's got a sick machine, cool stuff. It's good for back day because it's more of like a bodybuilding type gym, like the only real bodybuilding gym in Ottawa. It's called New Body Dimensions. Far East End Ottawa, if you're ever around, check it out. But yeah, I'm gonna eat, 
go train from the back. You're not small. Jeez. You think you're small? Crazy. Okay, chop chop. Okay, so I want to finish this video off with something I saw someone else do on YouTube was reading my old tweets mainly because I remember thinking I was hilarious when I was in high school the last time I used Twitter was literally grade 12 I think and I remember thinking I was hilarious and looking back now I was not so we are gonna dive into these I'm already crying from embarrassment right now but just look, pick a few I'm just gonna pick the first couple ones I see <coughs> If this is funny, I'm going to do it again because I have a lot of old tweets that are really shitty. But first one is two weeks into summer, 100 hamburgers and 40 pounds of chicken later. Hashtag bump sets at their best. Clearly just trying to flex how much food I eat because I was, this is like probably around the time I was getting really serious into the gym and thought I was fucking cooler than everybody else because I eat a lot of chicken. Even though I'm just fucking wasting a fuck ton of money on meat when I was a kid, but like, you know. Anything in the name of gains, I guess. Gotta flex, too. Next one, again, flexing for the gym. Puking at the gym. Hashtag true champ. I can promise you, I did not puke at the gym. Pretty much nothing can make me puke except alcohol, so I would probably hung over if I threw up, and it was not from training hard, but I, 
I'm trying to be tough, obviously, and pretend like I train harder than everybody else, like we all do, right? This one's true. When your dog gets a new haircut, it's more exciting than when you do. Hashtag cuddle buddies. That's pretty accurate, I'm not gonna lie. I get pretty fired up. And my old dog, Porter, I guess Poppy doesn't shed, or she does shed, so she doesn't grow hair, but my other buddy, my other buddy, Porter, dog Porter, hypoallergenic, so he doesn't shed, so the fur grows really long, and we shave it. Super cute, so pretty fired up. Stealing ideas from one person is plagiarism, but stealing from many is called research. Hashtag school logic. I guess I was going through my typical phase of everyone where we say fuck the school system and think it's stupid to be in school because we're learning nothing, but I have no comment on that. Apparently, I was equally as dumb as the people I make fun of today. Next one. If you have to put the toast down a second time, you will forget and it will get burnt. I literally did that this morning. My fucking toaster is still sitting right there. I have toast for breakfast now and I haven't eaten toast in a long time, so I don't know how it fucking toast and I burnt it because I put it down a second time so that's me fucking haunting myself from the past how I feel about hashtag twilight tomorrow dot 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 hashtag not exaggerating it's a picture of a fired up girl this for a fact with me trying to be a beauty for girls and like show I like watching like romantic girly movies and stuff you know start conversation at school with some ladies maybe flirt trying to be a beauty but it's actually a, this is the only one I have with a bunch of retweets so apparently this worked so that's pretty, that's pretty beauty. That's pretty cool, I guess, when I was a kid. More beauty flex and stacking them papers, hashtag cash money. I remember we were doing like a charity donation thing and my class got stuck with counting the money and it was obviously Movember, I hope. It must've been Movember, but that's a fucking sick sweater too. I have a sweater similar to that right now, cardigan style, but my style has not changed. And that damn stash, guys. The stash has been around for longer than you know. That what year is this? 2012. The stash has been around for seven years. That's a big deal. I'm gonna have to bring it back soon. I'll have to make a big deal of it. A big shaving ceremony when I get rid of the beard and put the stash back on. But I'm fired up for that. Wish I was Santa so I knew where all the bad bitches were at. Hashtag wishful thinking. I really thought of the fucking beauty. Certified beauty in high school, but. I mean, this one got two retweets and four likes back then. That's kind of, that's, that's some good clout right there. That's pretty beauty. I literally forgot, I swear I forgot how fucking stupid I was when I was a kid. I'll finish it off too with a joke picture of me in the gym from 2012 as well. This is ladies night of good life. Oh, I fucking retweeted. This is my friend, Christina, an old friend of mine from high school. Her dad, the beauty wakeboarder, went on their boat with him a bunch. He was at the gym, I guess, chirping us, but you can see the gains back in grade 12. Had a nice little bicep vein. My biceps were bigger back then than they are right now, too. That's sad. Sick flow, no decreased hairline. Fuck, man. Times have changed. Used to be a beauty. Used to be savage beauty on Twitter, just shredding retweets, but everything's kind of gone down the drain. Even rocking Adidas shoes back then, Adidas shorts. Pretty sick. No AirPods, though. So weak flex, but... It is what it is. So, that's all the tweets I'm going to read. But if you guys thought that was kind of funny, I'll read some more. Maybe rip through some old Facebook posts or something too. Because I think we all did some stupid, embarrassing shit when we were kids. And I completely forgot how dumb I was. I thought I was like a normal, cool, chill kid. But I put some inappropriate tweets and jokes and stupid, cocky shit on the internet. So, you live and you learn, I guess. But, that's it for this video. If you like it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.